Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can download and install as well as briefly use Liquid Bounce for Minecraft Java Edition 1.8.9. So to get Liquid Bounce you want to go to their official website which will be linked probably right around the top of the description and you want to download the Liquid Launcher and you just want to choose on whatever your operating system is here in my case it is Windows and this is just gonna work for most Windows versions that you guys are using at least you'll have to wait a few seconds on this page over here and then you can press on this continue button where you'll be brought to the direct download where you can click on this blue download button right here now as you can see in my downloads I have the liquid launcher setup which we can double click on and then as you can see in my case my antivirus actually kicks in. This is a common thing that happens when using Minecraft Bedrock and Minecraft Java Edition hacked clients. However I can click on this more info tab over here and then on run anyway. If this happens with you, you can do the exact same thing, but please do keep in mind that if you don't feel safe using or downloading something, then please don't do that. Anyways, we can click on this next button right over here, on next again, and then on install. Then it's just going to install the liquid launcher. This went really fast, it took like 5 seconds for me. So once that's been done, we can click on finish right over here, and as you can see, it's automatically going to open up. Now you can pin this to your taskbar here if you want to be able to find it easily. Then what I recommend you do is just log in with your Microsoft account. Once you've done that, you'll get a code over here, and I'm not going to show you mine right now. Even though it shouldn't really matter, anyways, it'll automatically open up this page, and you just want to enter the code. And then you just want to go through the rest of the sign-in process. When downloading the launcher, it should automatically be on version 1.8.9, which is the one we want. As you can click on here, also uh, for the build version for 1.8.9, you just want to make sure that you have selected the latest one. That way you will always be up to date and run into as little bugs as possible. So what you want to do is click on this launch button right over here and you'll be brought to this page. Wait for 5 seconds to skip and then download. And as you can see, it'll then just start downloading everything you need. Once everything has been successfully downloaded, it's going to automatically just launch Minecraft. And you might be able to recognize this loading screen from Forge 1.8.9. So here you'll be brought to this welcome screen um, with some links you might want and as well as some important commands. So you might just be able to recognize this as the regular Minecraft startup screen and you'll see that you have most of the um, main buttons here as well as the contributors button which lists all liquid bounce contributors um, as well as and a mod button too for so you can check out all your mods um, as you can see it's basically forge um, well this mods part is uh, anyways You'll have an old manager as well and I'm just going to go into single player and show you how to do this. You won't have any of your old worlds but not to worry those are all just going to be in your regular Minecraft. This is an entirely different launch. Now if you guys want me to make an incredibly in-depth tutorial on how to use liquid bounce then that's definitely something I'd consider doing. Anyways I'm just going to explain it really briefly. Alright, so in here what you'll notice is that this looks like regular 1.8.9 Minecraft, wherever you have the entire Liquid Bounce interface. Pressing the right shift button on your keyboard will open and close this menu right over here, which is also known as the Click GUI. In this menu, you see all these sections of different types of hacks that you can use. Um, you can organize these in basically an easy single every, every every single way you want um, and right clicking on these is going to open them up now do note that on some of these there is going to be a scroll bar as you can see so there might be more than you think as you can see there is a bunch of different options most of these are pretty self-explanatory hacks and can be used pretty simply um, to enable them you just want to click on them and to disable them you want to click on them again yeah um, as you can see you can also have a plus button here sometimes and if you actually right click on that um, you'll be able to select and deselect different options that come with that specific hack 
Anyways, another interesting tab over here is auto settings, and this is going to allow you to enable certain auto settings to allow hacking on different servers. Obviously, don't hack on servers because you're probably just going to get banned. Now, there are certain commands as well, um, and I'll tell you guys about the most important one for right now. So we can open the chat here, and then we can type dot .bind. As you can see, it automatically um, auto-fills, and then what you can do is type in certain um, hacks that you've seen over here. Let's select one. So I'll do auto walk because that's easy to showcase. So I can go to the chat and do dot, dot bind then the name of the hack, which is auto walk. There we are. And then I can bind any key to that. For example, the F key and then hit enter. Now, whenever I press F auto walk is going to be enabled as you can see. And when I press on F again, it is automatically going to be disabled. And basically, do you can do this with any single, with every single hack there is um, in this menu. Anyways, guys, that was basically it for right now. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye bye.